Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy, and recently the Snapmaker U1, everyone's current favorite tool changer, received a firmware update that brings it up to version 1.0.0. And it brings some pretty helpful features along with it, and I wanted to try them out to see if they work and, well, how well they work. But first, let's take a look at some of these update notes here. Now, in order to get all of these features for this printer, you are gonna to have to update the firmware as well as Snapmaker Orca to version 2.2.1 or above when that's available. But here are some of the new features. It added AI monitoring that includes spaghetti detection and foreign object detection. And it also uh, supports push notifications inside of the slicer, but not inside of the actual uh, app, the Snapmaker um, mobile app. Um, that's going to be coming eventually at some point in the future. They also added homing calibration to address issues where homing or tool head picking and parking may fail. That's happened to me maybe a couple of times when the printer was uh, just fresh out of the box and getting things started, but it really hasn't been an issue for the most part. Also added a device maintenance and reminders and guidance. That's pretty helpful. Let you know what you need to do in order to keep the printer up and running smoothly. And they added an filament auto mapping toggle that's on by default and added low storage notifications. Improvements include optimizing the homing logic to prevent homing failures and refine the manual the manual leveling UI so that icons now flash and then fix an issue where large file downloads could fail. So even though those features seem pretty good, the biggest problem that I've had with this printer has to do with connectivity from the printer to Snapmaker Orca. There can be a pretty big lag in between when the printer is turned on and connected to the network and when it's picked up in Snapmaker Orca. And sometimes it just didn't want to connect at all. And sometimes it will be connected to the mobile app and I'll be able to activate the camera and look at it and interact with the printer. But for some reason in Snapmaker Orca, it was always a really big lag and sometimes it was just a uh, luck of the draw whether or not the two would connect so I was hoping that that was going to be fixed in this firmware version but unfortunately it hasn't been fixed and in fact in my experience it's actually gotten worse and that prompted me to have to turn on LAN mode so if you're having this issue turn LAN mode on in the, in the Snapmaker Orca UI on the printer and then bind it to the Snapmaker Orca app. Since I've done that it was a little bit rocky at first but things seem to have balanced themselves out somehow I have no idea but as you can see right here I do have it connected to LAN and these are the filaments that's just loaded up inside of the printer. I can go ahead and turn the camera on. There's the view right there. You can go ahead and turn that light off, turn the camera off and everything is just connected via LAN. So hopefully they can work out the cloud-based um, connectivity between the two soon. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to test was the foreign object detection, and this can be very helpful if you accidentally leave something on the print bed when you start another print. So what I decided to do was take a little bit of a prime tower and just stuck it right there on the bed and then started up a print. And the results were pretty darn good because it detected that anomaly on the print bed and the print stopped. Now, even though this piece of the prime tower is a fairly large piece of a foreign object that's on the bed, I can confirm that it also successfully detected the purge line that I accidentally left on the bed and it would not start the print until I took that purge line off and then confirmed that the bed was completely clear. So it can detect things that are slightly larger, like a prime tower that's still there, as well as the little thin purge line at the beginning. So that was very promising. And I tried that out about four times and it has successfully caught it every time. The next thing I wanted to try was the spaghetti detection. Spaghetti detection is great. It can save you a lot of filament if one of your parts fall over and the print just keeps on going and it could cause quite a mess. So what I decided to do was start printing a tall cylindrical object. I waited until it got to a pretty decent height and then I was able to just pause the print and well just take the little cylinder off the bed and then resume the print. The print was going on for a handful of seconds and then it did successfully detect 
that there was some spaghettification going on. So it paused, it parked itself in the back, and I had to go and confirm whether or not the spaghetti notification was legit. And of course it was, so I was able to cancel the print right then and there. So those two features and the time that I you know, tested it real quick, they definitely work and they are very good additions to this printer to not only help save you some filament, but also even help save some of the hardware on the printer because we have seen so many horror stories of prints that have failed and grabbed onto the nozzle and have created the blob of death. So this should go a decent way in helping to prevent all of that. The biggest thing that we got to work out right now is that connectivity between the Snapmaker Orga app and the printer. If they can smooth that out and have that experience be nice and seamless, like it would be with a open source printer just using the regular Orca slicer, then the entire experience overall will be a lot, lot smoother. But uh, everything else is working pretty good with this printer. I've done some additional prints since then and the prints look good, everything's fine. So looking forward to see what else they do in the future. So that's going to do it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Till next time, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.